Khaikya, a fourth semester student from the Department of English and a gender champion. And on behalf of the Gender Champions Committee, I am honored to welcome you all to today's webinar on creativity and mental health, addressing pandemic-induced anxiety in students through engagement in creative arts. We are very honored that Romantic Man is here with us on a student platform on our invitation. So, without taking more time, I would like to call upon Principal Sir of our college, Dr. Prahanna Kumar Dutta, to formally inaugurate this webinar. A few words from you, sir. Thank you, Gangoti. Good evening. I am very happy to welcome to our college, our research question for today's webinar, the illustrious artist, Ramanjir Kaur, even if virtually. I also welcome all the participants of this webinar, who I understand mainly comprise of the student community. This virtual meet is organized by the student's body, the gender champions, formed in the year 2015 at the instruction of the University Grant Commission. And this webinar is extremely relevant as it addresses a student-specific issue in these distressing times. I therefore thank you, Madam, for taking out time from your busy schedule to be with these young people. Your talk, I am sure, will help them with a new focus to deal with the stress they may be undergoing and emerge stronger and more positive. I wish you, students, a happy learning experience too. I also wish the GCC the very best and hope that they will continue with such meaningful events. As we are all waiting to hear our guest, Madam Poor, I will not delay and with these few words, I formally open this webinar on creativity and mental health during this pandemic-induced situation. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. May I now request the coordinator of IQAC, Dr. Rafiq Ahmed, sir, to say a few words. Sir? Thank you, Gangotri. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Respected principal of Bahana College, Dr. Prasanna Kumar Dutta, Respected Vice Principal Dr. Santana Saikia, Respected Resource Person Raman Zitkor, dear students of Bahana College and outside, all other dignitaries, participants, and colleagues. On behalf of, of the internal quality assurance cell, Bahana College, I welcome you all to this national webinar organized by the Gender Champions Committee. As our principal, Dr. Dutta has already said in his address that we are extremely happy that a personality of your renown, Madam Cole, is with us as a resource person today. The IPC, a NAC mandated body, is constantly striving to assess and upgrade the faculty and the students in their academic, co curricular, and extracurricular activities. The cell therefore encourages such exercises that benefit the students in their tourism growth. I am therefore very glad that this student's body has been engaging itself in addressing issues of gender quality, mental and physical health of the students through awareness programs, competitions, talks, etc. in the last four years. Your presence on their platform, Madam, means a lot to these youngsters and I am confident that your deliberation will open new vistas for them to explore. Thank you once again for being here with us. I also thank the Gender Champion Committee and the Internal Complaint Committee and the faculty involved with this webinar. And finally, I want to thank all the participants, participating students who will also take part in the review competition that will follow. I am also thankful to the esteemed audience who are present with us in this evening. Thank you. Thank you all. Over to Gangutri. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having confidence in us. Now, from the final round of speeches from our college, I request our presiding officer of ICC and the vice principal, Dr. Hansana Hakya Ma'am, to finally introduce our resource person, Ramajit Ma'am, to our audience. Thank you, Gangotri. And good evening to all who have joined us for this webinar. Thank you so much for your support to these youngsters. And 
It is my pleasure and privilege to introduce you to our resource person, Ramajit Kaur, the eminent theater and film personality, a person who has worked in the field of uh, women empowerment. And it's indeed a privilege to have her with us today. Thank you for joining us, Raman. Uh, to, take you on Raman <laughs> to take you on Ramanjit's amazing trajectory, would really take a lot of time, so I would try to be as brief as possible. Ramajit Kaur is a founder director of the Creative Arts Academy, which he started in the year 2002. This prestigious institute collaborates with various organizations like the British Council, Alias France, German Goethe Institute, Indian Council for Cultural Research, etc. The Academy conducts experimental theater, as in site specific theater. I would love to know about that. Theater for therapy, etc. Ramanjit Kaur is also the national vice president of the Arts Leadership Council of Women's Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And uh, our national president, Bina Unikrishnan, was supposed to join us today here. And if she's here, this eminent artist, entrepreneur, filmmaker, Motivational speaker Ibina has joined us. I welcome you also and thank you so much. And I also welcome all the members of Wiki here. So, um, yeah, now to take you back to our resource person, Ramanjit Kaur is a graduate in literature, fine arts, dance, and music. And she's also a gold medalist in masters in music. She is trained with the eminent theater personality Padmashri Neelam Man Singh Chaudhary, with whom she was a lead actor for three decades. She was also trained at the London School of Speech and Drama, Birmingham School of Speech and Drama in the UK, at the Theatre du Soleil, I hope I got that correct, France, and also in Italy. She has performed across the globe at festivals in the UK, Germany, France, Italy, Japan, Japan, Singapore, Dubai, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Australia, Sri Lanka, among others. Her film credits include Deepa Mehta's Anatomy of Violence, Videsh, Heaven on Earth, and The Well-Known Fire. She has acted in Samir Mehanovich's Mouth of Hell, and she is also with many more directors. She has conceived and directed many nationally and internationally acclaimed plays for children and adults, I cannot name all of them here because it will really take up a lot of time. But I'll just mention a few. In 2011, she created an all-women theatre group and her play Bavre Man Ke Sapne with her all-women cast received the prestigious National Award. Her production Beyond Borders has been performed at the International Theatre Olympics in 2018. In 2019, she directed the much-talked-about Dice of Desire based on the female characters of the Mahabharata. Ramanjit has also directed a poetry film, Silence. For her noteworthy contribution to the field of art, she has received the Sangeet Natak Academy's Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar, the Sanskriti Award, Ladli National Award for Gender Sensitization, Uttam Kumar Award, the French Embassy Scholarship, and the Charles Wallace Award from the United Kingdom. Ramanjit also conducts workshops on theater skills and life skills for students in schools and colleges, for corporates in the National School of Drama. And we are extremely privileged that Raman, you are with us today. Thank you so much. And over to Gangotri now. Thank you, Shan. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am. Now we come to the main person of this webinar, Ramanjit, ma'am. I'm so thrilled that the personality with your impressive resume is here with us today. But before we invite you to speak, I would like to tell everybody that we will take a few questions from ma'am at the end of ma'am's deliberation. But there is an announcement to make. Anupam sir, I hand it over to you. Thank you, Gopal. Uh, good evening, one and all present here. So this announcement is for the participants only. So at the end of the session, we will provide a feedback form. Those who have joined in the Google Meet will provide the feedback form in the chat box, feedback form link. 
and those who are watching in the FB live will paste the my feedback link in the comment section. So in the feedback form, the last question of the feedback form is a session code. So you have to choose a uh, appropriate session code. The session code is barred. The today's session code is barred. I'm repeating, it is barred. So you have to fill up this session code. Okay, thank you. How about you, Gamutri? Thank you, Anupam sir. Now, I request our dear ma'am, dear romantic ma'am, to begin her talk. Ma'am, please. Thank you so much, Gangotri. I thank Shantana Sekia, my National Council co-member at the Women Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry Arts Leadership Council. I thank uh, Principal Sir, Mr. Datta, and all the teachers and the students who worked very hard to put all of this together. This is art happening here in front of us. When we meet, when we communicate, this is the art of communication. And that's where the healing starts uh, right away. I'm very thrilled to get this first connection with Bahuna College. I thank Bahuna College, ICC, Gender Champions, all of you who thought of this topic and who made it possible for us to have this conversation. Um, students community has been one of the most badly affected community during these pandemic times. And yet they have been most patient right from a nursery kid to a five-year-old to a nine-year-old who cannot meet their friends and friends are their lifelines. They want to squeal, they want to play hide and seek, they want to play in the playgrounds and they are locked up. And then comes in the high schoolers who have to complete their board exams and uh, take admissions in the colleges. That's what they've been studying for all their lives, preparing for all their schooling years. And then comes the collegiates whose careers are based on the final exams and the results. We've all been hanging in this no zone, no time zone kind of sphere. And we don't know where we will go from here, what's going to happen every day. There's so much uncertainty. And yet you've been patient. So already congratulations to you. You have done it. You have survived together with resilience. Picasso says, yes, a big round of applause for the student community. Because you are the future of our country and the world. So if you show this kind of patience and resilience, we know we are in good hands. I would like to quote Pablo Picasso over here, who is the master artist. He says, art washes away from soul, the dust of everyday life. Let's look at this pandemic's um, times. What happened during this time? We all got locked down. And do you know that the governments of most of the countries called uh, arts as a non-essential commodity? Whereas if you look around, what has helped us survive? Uh, it is the arts. If you are on Google Meet, if you're having a communication, you're having a webinar, you're watching Netflix on television, you're watching TikToks and uh, Instagram reels and stories, all the dances and the music all of you put up. That has been possible because of the arts engagement. So what has arts done? Food, the farmers had, have helped us survive. Um, you know, we haven't gone hungry. There's been food on our tables. And uh, arts has helped us retain the sanity among the human mind. Um, how? Because arts is something that helps us release our thoughts, our feelings, takes us into a world that is romanticizing, that is expressing, that is full of communication. It says something to us. It connects to our thoughts. It connects to our feelings. It helps us uh, bring to the table what I want to say. So over here, 
I would like to talk to you about that also during the lockdown, you indulged in a lot of art forms in your own um, spaces of home. You know, some of you discovered the artist in you, the ones who were doodling or writing or doing some crafts. Uh, but a lot of you turned out to be master chefs. A lot of you turned out to be good communicators, storytellers to your own family, to the children in your family, and devised a lot of stuff. If you remember the first lockdown period, of course, it's getting more and more difficult as the days pass by. And what did the artist community do? Did we sit down? We were not paid. We did not get any grants to survive through this period. But we did not sit down. Just like the farmers continued to work, we continued to work without pay for more than one and a half years. What did we create? We created theater. We created um, online performances, music, dance, more poems, more stories, um, everything more for the audience because we knew that right now the audience needed us. The readers needed us. The audience was hungry. There was uh, sadness. There was gloom. Just like Bertolt Brecht, the theater artist or director or writer says, um, will there be singing during the dark times? Yes, there will be singing about the dark times. So that's what we all did. We all sang, we all danced, we all wrote. And talking about that, Shantana and the students requested that I showed you glimpses of my work so that this becomes a visual interaction and not just words coming to you. So I would request Abanti, my program officer from the Creative Arts Academy, to uh, share with us a piece that was conceived for Anita Ratnam, the legendary dancer who lives in Chennai. She conceived the boxed series, uh, wherein she um, invited dancers from all over the world to um, share their uh, expression of uh, what they think or how they are feeling in this lockdown space. And uh, she also invited four uh, theater artists to do the same. There were more than 40 artists from all over the world that uh, uh, worked on this. And uh, they were given only two minutes to share their feelings. Uh, I'll share the piece first see what you feel and then i will share my thoughts about it so here we go Abanti, the volume is not there. Maybe you are muted. Can anyone hear the sound? No, no, Raman. Maybe because I was okay. muted, so, so I'll just uh, retry it again. Sorry for the. Try again from the same segment, yeah. please. Thank you. I thought I'll tell you right in the beginning. And while you are trying that, I'll also share about the piece maybe. So I conceived it under the dining table. Why under the dining table? Because the family met at the dining table every day, especially during the lockdown times. And uh, my daughter, the young one, always used to fuss around food. And she would say, we have to play a game while uh, being on the dining table. And we would play Antakshri, where you know songs are told, or Atlas, or things like that. And that's the thing I wove into my piece. And she very beautifully, both my daughters shot this piece. And it also got critics award. So um, we used her little toys, which was like Alice in Wonderland for me. And uh, but we were playing that, you know, the whole migration of so many laborers and them going hungry, them being on the move. And I also wove in a folk Punjabi poem that my mother used to tell me. So how many elements come into play when you finally create a performance? Um, over to you, Abanti.
Avanti, the sound is still not there. Can you hear it? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I think uh, she need to unplug her earphone. Unplug her earphone? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. But we tried it just now with my uh, Do you want me to unplug my earphone? Try it again? Yeah, sure. There is one more alternative. Uh, it's the player need to play it in a Google tab, in the Chrome tab. Then also. But it was playing just before the meet. We tried it. Okay, so maybe uh, then. Let's try it again, and I'll continue speaking. So, um, what I was saying is that when an artist expresses themselves, it's also about the art. It's about uh, the politics of it. It's about the atmosphere or the environment that we are going through. There's so many areas come into play. Let's try it again. I hope it works this time. Go ahead, Avanti. Is that audible now? No. Maybe. Let's see. It isn't audible still now? No. OK. But I can see it is unmuted. I wonder what's the. Just for a few se seconds ahead, or let's just. Play I think uh, this link is available in your Facebook. Uh, can you please share a Facebook link so that we can try it from our side? Sure. sure. Why not? Right away. Okay. This, uh, so while you all are box. exchanging this, I will not stop. Uh, let's keep presenting to our audiences what I'm trying to say. So the box series was very beautifully conceived by artists from all over the world, someone danced on their dining table, someone used their windowsill, I remember someone used a sofa, someone also used a television screen where, you know, she looked at herself and she looked at herself as being boxed, just like when you get boxed in a Google screen or a television screen, and there's no way that you can jump out and hug someone. Uh, so there were many, many experiments. People used their landings of the stairs. Some also used the landing. Uh, there were two other theater performers uh, who were called for this. One did it on the stage because he has access to stage. And uh, another one did it uh, beside a pond because she had a pond in her backyard. So uh, we all kind of use, uh, used our spaces very, very uh, creatively. And um, uh, the experiences or the final expression or what the audience uh, felt was very different for um, each performance done by different artists. After this, I will also show you something that I did for um, Bhai Baldeep Singh, who is a music maestro a conservator of uh, Gurbani Sangeet, ancient compositions taking from hundreds of years. And uh, he is also a luthier uh, instrumentalist. He invited me to uh, share my journey for his uh, Yar Anad Betak series, which is one of the longest series uh, done in the world because it is um, so if uh, Abanti, you can also tell them the segment that is there. Yes, ma'am, I've already sent that across. OK. I think it's 13.47 or something. Yeah, it's 13.50 and goes until 16.40. Is the sound uh, now coming now? Yes, it starts from 13, uh, 50. If you could just tell me how you got your sound, I could just do the same and uh, present it right away. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen fifty. It starts exactly from thirteen fifty. Yeah. Thinking, 
ਕਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਕੀ ਕਾ ਨਾ ਕਟੰਡਾ ਐਨੋਲਾ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਕਾ 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 ਮਾਨੀ ਮਾਮ ਚੱਲੀ ਚੱਲੀ ਖਾ ਬੇਟਾ ਚੱਲੀ ਚੱਲੀ ਖਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕਾ ਰੋਟੀ ਖਾ ਲੋ ਬੇਟਾ ਨਾ ਤੀ ਤੇ ਮਮਾ ਚੰਮੀ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਤੀ ਤੇ create a piece for the box series the space that immediately came to my mind was the dining table especially during the lockdown period the family bonds eats and laughs together on the dining table my little one is very fussy she likes all of us to play games while having a meal so i used all these inputs and i started improvising under the table i created an imaginary world while doing that and while doing different movements the divide between the privileged and the less privileged class the laborers walking for days hungry thirsty started coming into the piece and uh, i used dr neil hall's poem we all have blood on our hands and a folk poem mani ma vikheta and slowly this folk poem starts getting different layers in the piece thank you so much thanks shantana so if there are immediate questions for for this i'm ready to answer that and then we can go forward would you like that any response i think or... yeah I, i i don't know let me go on to pankaj and maybe anupam yes do we take the questions now or later it will be better to take question at the end of the session i think okay. sure all right we'll do that so I'll uh, go and uh, talk about uh, Yaranad Batak series uh, um you know session that I did with Bhai Baldeep Singh and uh, the lovely thing that happened was that we decided not only to talk about my journey of 30 35 years but also um we decided to create something for online audience that means we were going to perform live this piece that you saw was pre-recorded and edited but over there we rehearsed online so how he showcases his yaranath batak series is uh, uh, you know he has an ecam camera which is uh, specially attached to the computer and the camera can zoom in and out um, while the performer on the other side is performing and we connect through skype so these are few techniques uh, some uh, technical methods that he uses so that the live space also is not flat but it uh, gets you closer to the performer so uh, my colleague vansh bhardwaj and i took some poems of amrita pritam one of the legendary punjabi poet and uh, we talked about mai tenu phir milangi which is like uh, you know i'll meet you again in another lifetime and this is one of my favorite poems so we uh, kind of worked on two characters who are 
in their own lockdowns, but they love each other and they try to reach out to each other and uh, yet they are separated, but they find moments of unison and they hope to meet again. So that nine minute piece, also I decided to share with you um, because I think it will be a treat for all of you to watch what are the possibilities of uh, online performances. So over to you, Abanti, and I really hope the volume works this time if you've kind of worked it out. Yes, ma'am. Let's see and hope for the best. While she's preparing, I'll also share that there was another artist, Taranji Kaur, who is a revolutionary poet. Uh, this is, uh, I would like Bhai Baldeep Singh's thing first, Avanti. Okay. So um, there was another artist, Taranjit Kaur, who joined us, and she very creatively used the box of her bed. You know, so she appears from the box of her bed, which was again a live performance, and how she ties a turban. We also used a lot of properties in terms of a huge sheet around which I get entangled. And then there's another image. Wow, I don't have. Um, sorry, Vanti. No, uh, no, nothing, uh, ma'am. I just, just sorry, sorry. So um, there's a, a moment where he and I are talking about uh, how we would like to not talking, but maybe sharing that you know how we would like to come close and reach out, maybe even kiss or feel each other so there's a lot of breath and kind of things that are used and caressing that is used and it almost feel it feels that the uh, two lovers or the beloved are together and over here taranjit who appears from her box bed uh, alone creates a solo piece then after that i also created rabindranath tagore's uh, a wife's letter directed by my guru padma shri neelam man singh choudhury i did a piece from that and uh, uh, okay let's see if this one works and it has sound i want to tell the audience that we tried everything and these are the pleasures of technical things they decide to go off and on we tried everything before you all came i have a feeling the sound is again not there no it is there it is there now i can hear it We are both in different spaces. Abanti, the sound is not there. Is it uh, possible that uh, you share the phone number of the person who's helping us? Uh, Shantana, could you share uh, the phone numbers? I sent it to you. Sorry? Please, I sent it to you. Please check. OK. Yeah, Dr. Pankaj Bora. I sent right. his number. I'm to you. sending it to Abanti. Abanti, if you can talk to Mr. Bora yeah. and I will continue. Yes, please just call me a few minutes yeah. back. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, is it again a Facebook uh, link or something else? No, there is a Facebook link, but uh, yeah. And uh, Abanti, it's right in the beginning. So, right. Um, we can share that uh, YouTube link. 
right okay thing. yeah okay right and in the meantime i'll continue talking about it so i was talking about uh, rabindranath tagore's wife's letter where towards the end she says that uh, you know i got everything in your home there was food on the table there was everything but in 15 years you never even came to know that i write poems you never knew me you didn't know what happened inside my heart or behind the closed doors of my room and uh, there are a lot of things that happen during the play and this is the last moment where she says that uh, no i also did the pregnancy scene where uh, she is so distressed that she loses her child and she says that all the rooms in the house were very beautiful but the pregnancy or the delivery room was dark it didn't have enough embroidery the curtains didn't have embroidery the light wouldn't come and uh, everyone thought that it was normal um, i also thought it's okay and uh, i agree with you that you shouldn't give, give too much love to women because if you do their pain increases so there are some beautiful lines written by rabindranath tagore and on a live video i uh, had my properties uh, the way we had conceived it at Neel, with neelam man singh choudhury in her production i tried to recreate what we had done so i had my water leaves sand egg which breaks showing the miscarriage and uh, i had my dupatta Uh, which helped me create a lot of whirlpool or whirlwind towards the end where she says that after today i'll never um, step in your house ever again so she leaves home forever and uh, i had done a lot of swirls towards the end and i also entangle my dupatta in a way and then i carry it like a baby uh, it was done with a sari but over here i did it with a dupatta so in uh, um, baldeep ji's bathak what we did the makeup the taking off of the makeup the dressing up and the taking off of the dressing uh, it was 6 um, hours plus discussion that happened you know mapping the whole journey why i'm sharing it with all of you today is to say that um, let's not l- allow our circumstances to be um, empowering you know let us not allow the circumstances to empower us let us think and pause and create whatever best is possible out of whatever is left with us whatever bare minimum um uh, you know means that we may have at that point of time so uh, it's like seeing what what does art do it shows us that little ray of sunshine it shows us uh, it gives us warmth when we share with each other so i would say that um i have talked a lot about art for art's sake but now i would also tell you that do it for your own sake you know first and foremost you're all students you used to writing uh you should start writing keep a journal whether you're a good writer or not just keep it for yourself express yourself on paper every day and from there you will find your story and you will find a way and mean of writing a story that you've been wanting to tell so uh, that is always a good beginning of releasing thoughts of addressing your own feelings uh, there are a lot of confusions that go on in our mind and we say i don't know what to do about this i don't know what to do about home this food to look after especially uh, women and now men also who are so much engrossed in the everyday activity of home uh, there's so much that's piling on on our mind and i say don't create a pile don't create a pyramid of all that you need to do but create compartments look at them or visit them one moment at a time so that you are living only this moment do not come to the webinar and then keep looking at your phone don't do that you will not live any moment you will neither live the webinar nor you will live the moment that you are trying to look for on your phone 
So that is very, very important. Compartmentalize everything. At night, you tell yourself, okay, now I'm going to leave everything and I'm going to sit with my cup of coffee or tea and look at all the million crazy and stupid reels that I want to because I want to unwind. And uh, uh, that is something that I think could be a take away from uh, today's webinar for you. And if the team is ready to show those, and th only then I want to move uh, forward quickly. Uh, are the clips ready, sir? Oh, great. Okay. Oh, it's gone forward, sir. Um, meaning I need to go a little forward. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah. But, you know, uh, if we can make it into a full screen, sir. Thank you. Is it okay now, ma'am? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I would like you to pay attention that how two actors in two different cities, I in Kolkata and he in Chandigarh, were doing this. And there was one point during the performance where he couldn't see the screen. He couldn't see me. And yet we continued through imagination. ਪੰਛੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਡਾਰ ਬਣ ਕੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਕੋਈ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਰਹੇ
ਤੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਚਰਨਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਪਾਣੀ ਉੜਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਬੂੰਦਾਂ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਿੰਡੇ ਤੇ ਮਲਾਂਗੀ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਠੰਡਕ ਚਿਕ ਬਣ ਕੇ ਤੇਰੀ ਛਾਤੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਲਗਾਂਗੀ मेरे शहर दी हर कंध चुकी मैं सोचया कि जे मैं खून नु मनु मिल जावे ता समंदर नु अपनी छाती ते रख के असी असी दो किनारेया दे वांग हस सकते थे ना नीवियां छत्ता पे पीड़ियां गलियां दे शहर च बस सकते सा ਸਾਰੀ ਦੁਪਹਿਰ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਲੱਭਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਅੱਖ ਦਾ ਕੁੱਟ ਮੈਂ ਆਪੇ ਹੀ ਪੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਸਮੁੰਦਰ ਨੂੰ ਸਮੁੰਦਰ ਦੇ ਤੂਫਾਨ ਵਾਲੀ ਮੋਰ रात पहन वाली है कि तू मिले आए मैं भी चुप मैं भी उदास चुप खामोश शांत ते अडोल उदास ते अडोल तू भी उदास चुप शांत ते उदास चुप शांत ते अडोल सिर्फ सिर्फ दूर दूर ਜਦੋਂ ਜਿਸਮ ਮੁਖ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਮੁਖ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਚੇਤਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਤਾਕੇ ਕਈ ਸੰਤੀ ਕਣਾ ਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕਣਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਆਗਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਲਾ
थैंक यू सो मच well i hope uh, audience enjoyed there was lot of lagging and of course it's in punjabi but that's why i gave the context it's from amrita pritam's uh, um poetry and the i've given the context that they want to be together the reason i showed that you know there's no end to creativity if you saw my co-actor he created things with bamboo or a sheet i was using my props um so now i would like to rush forward and shantana is it possible because i know there are these questions and we are already 14 minutes beyond that 40 minutes thing that you told me uh can we run over or do we have to finish within 6 uh, minutes no no i think you can take some time uh, pankaj okay. anupam yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am i just want to know give you a larger perspective of you know this was during the lockdown time uh, how art should become intrinsic part of your life one as i said that you should start writing so there's reflection in life you start leading a life of consciousness and that helps us a lot in terms of uh, uh, you know looking at ourselves all the time not only our daily routine actions but where my life is going and it helps us answer a lot of questions for ourselves once we put everything on paper and uh, or if you use computer wherever you want to take your notes uh, but pen and paper is still feels good um, also what happens when you make art into a part of your life beyond writing if you take it into expression i have a whole community of women who are working with me they come from non theater background but now they've been doing theater with me since 9 years i would like to show their beyond borders if that has been shared uh, by abanti abanti is there a way of sharing beyond borders i have shared or... it and pankaj sir is ready with the link so whenever you want to go so i am sharing one production that has done very well it was also shown at international theater olympics how this one production help them look into the ideas of immigration and so let's start, start with it i just tell you when to start okay oh, uh, yeah. so a uh, refugee crisis is something that we started off with national borders or other uh places where we feel this refugee crisis but then we realized uh that uh you know borders are of nation caste color religion gender mind and body and one dialogue that i wrote sums it up for uh, me and that's why the canvas was very huge and we dealt with all these various uh borders of gender mind and body which says that you can be a refugee in your own home just because you think differently and that's what uh, this cast of 29 women explored and as i said that it has traveled to international festival and uh, yeah let's have a look at few glimpses over here over to you sir Tap tap two, tap tap three. So 
सारे के सारे मर गए तुम भी चलो मैं भी चलू जाए कहो पता नहीं चल पड़े सब मगर रास्ता पता नहीं Thank you so much, sir, for that one. <laughs> and uh, thank you, everyone, for the compliments. Uh, I you can see a lot of imagery over there. So I work with my director Neelam Man Singh ji and my own directorial work uses a lot of images. And just referring to the last one, we had um, last one was you know they are all holding plants on their head, and a uh, lot of sand falls of them. on them so it's like uh, holding hope in the middle of a storm so i know that all of you must be having lot of questions let's jump to that there was another trailer that we had looked at but abanti can put a link to that where i had written 
a poem for uh, one of the companies and it says chalo aaj khud se milao let me go and meet myself today and that's what i would urge all of you to think about that find time to meet yourself and that's where you will find all the answers so over to you shantana and gangotri uh, and let's share some questions thank you so much ma'am i am really inspired on how you showed that art can open the closed doors and influence our mind and yes from now on i'm really going to keep a journal and i'm sure your ideas are going to benefit everyone so now we'll be taking questions and for that i request bikram bosal to conduct the question and answer round sir oh uh, thank you gangotri i hope i am audible yes yeah so uh, good evening everyone i'm bikram i teach uh, history at bahana college first of all i'd like to thank ramanjit for ma'am for being with us uh thank you and thank you all for joining us today and i'll have to admit today's session was one of the most engaging entertaining and enlightening ones uh, pardon the alliteration if you may thank uh, i had the privilege to be a part of actually in the recent times and ma'am while you quoted uh, battle brack at the very beginning and also later during one of the performances so um, i admire him very much so i i actually had a flashback because that a uh, particular quote uh, used to be graffitied on the walls of my alma mater in the dark times will there be singing yes there will be singing about the dark times yes and i guess most of us are keeping our sanity intact in these dark times by singing writing cooking painting or whatever we may find our solace so it was quite cathartic today actually i'll admit that thank um, you I indeed agree with you that categorizing art as non-essential in these times has been a blunder of disastrous proportion. So thank you again for actually making us admire how crucial it is not to stop singing in dark times. So I believe today's session was a moment for us to learn and most importantly unlearn, and perhaps a reminder to be more, a bit more kinder to ourselves and to others. It is trying time. May we be able to heal ourselves and also those around us. I just hope the others present here today were able to learn as well as unlearn as much as I did. And I'm positive our students will now be more articulate and more uninhibited towards um, new forms of, let's say, experiences, learning, and experiments taking cue from today's session. And I sincerely hope, as you said. they'll be able to take up art for their own sake it's not for art sake and i guess i'm blabbering now so i won't take much of your time so let us now proceed towards the interactive session we invite questions from our audience here and also via our live streaming platforms so as is a time constraint we may not be able to entertain all the questions so we apologize in advance for that so we'll also skip questions that appears to have already answered So uh, let us proceed towards our first question, which is in um, in our Facebook feed, which is by Sangha Ghosal, and she is basically said that she has started to overthink every little thing. Sometimes she can't help it, which often makes her feel depressed. So I believe this is a very serious concern. So, ma'am, uh, if you would like to shed some light on how how um, art or art therapy may be beneficial for her, she started overreacting to everything. Did I hear that right? Yeah, okay. which is making her depressed because there was uh, there was a bit of lag. Uh, I completely understand uh, that uh, you know things are depressive. around us and your friends and family may have gone through stuff but there are few uh, tips that i gave uh, during the session if you look at that if you could start writing as i would say that what is it that depresses you and what is it that is not making you feel good and even if you do not have the answer to that just write that i'm feeling restless my nerves are 
you know there's a tingling sensation in my nerves and uh, uh, even if the weather is good and monsoon is coming down it is not helping it's rather uh, entangling uh, my emotions even more because um, and then ask yourself why are you craving someone's company are you wanting to go out and meet your friends uh, are you just wanting to go out to cinema just write it on the journal apart from that if you're busy doing office work or college work but i think most of you are college students so uh, college work there are projects there are things to be finished even if the exams are not happening uh, there are uh, household chores that you need to finish so but apart from that do find that morning and night moment for yourself where you will sit start with 10 minutes if you do not have half an hour but if you can manage then take it to half an hour sit for 10 minutes with music with a cup of tea in your hand or coffee or juice whatever you like or water and then at night after you finished everything don't go to bed straight away just sit on the sofa or even your own bed and uh, sit for some time or listen to music or meditative music for some time and you will realize how uh, your nerves are being soothed now while listening to music or uh, giving this moment of silence to yourself you may get ideas about what you would like to do that is what creative thing you would like to do would you like to read a book would you like to just dance and record it uh, someone was asking me ma'am uh, yesterday what do you think of these tiktok artists who have come up or these reels that are being made are they deteriorating the art form in a way i would say no please go ahead and express yourselves that's what the stone age man did that's where the dance started it's an expression of body mind and soul then we created classical forms or we codified or we gave it grammar but before that it was just a pure raw expression of a human being and right now we are back to basics so whether you can sing or not whether you can dance or not just go ahead and do it so find those moments for yourself to release that pent up energy and unwiring will happen slowly you will not feel so wired up slowly you will not overreact and the moment you overreact after that sit down and even if you feel the other person had done something wrong you go ahead and say sorry i feel you've done you said something wrong or you did something wrong but i'm sorry i shouldn't have overreacted so i guess those are few tools that you can use to counter this situation i'd also urge our faculty and our students if they have any questions they can put forward they may um, actually type their questions in the chat box or Alternatively, they can raise their hands and directly question the speaker. Yeah, I would love to see so. speakers. I think that that will be more interactive, I guess. Yeah. In the meantime, I was discussing with Shantana, and she said that I could uh, tell all of you that the Creative Arts. academy that we run has some wonderful courses in writing communication music dance and theater acting script writing so if any one of you is looking forward for that or uh, looking up for these kind of courses uh, i have uh, my colleague has written in the chat the link is very much there and uh, also Shantana and I were talking that it would be lovely to have some workshops for all of you, so I would be very happy to do that. Um, and if there are no questions, then uh, Shantana or Gangotri, if you have something to say, then uh, we could look at that. Um, I have a question, ma'am. Yes, Gangotri. Uh, ma'am, being a literature a literature student, I would like to ask you about the career options. <laughs> Uh, if a student is a literature graduate and yeah. decides to do masters in creative arts, then, then uh, what what is the question, uh, ma'am? Uh, that is the career good or what? What is your question? I mean, if a student is a literature graduate and decides to do the masters in any creative art form, then what will be their career options? What would you suggest? 
See, that depends on what you feel your raw material is. And I tell everyone that first, find your raw material. Would you like to write? Would you like to perform? Uh, be a scientist, uh, sing, dance. So once you recognize that, being a literature student, you have the whole gamut open to you. You know, you can be a content writer, you can be a script writer, a novelist, a, um, you know, a short story writer, but you can also be a performer, dancer, and other things where literature will come in handy. So the moment you recognize your raw material, or if you're unable to recognize, ask yourself, what makes me most happy? You know, and this is what I would like to do. And the reason behind my smile is that I have been doing this since childhood and Shantana knows that I work till 4 a.m. and I'm still smiling. I'm exhausted, I'm in pain, but I'm smiling because I'm doing something that I love so much, that I enjoy so much. So find out that one thing that even after 40 years, it brings a smile to your face, even if you are dying doing it. So I think that answers your question. And also, oh. you're really scared of choosing creative arts as your career. Science and engineering are not the only ones that are lucrative careers. Um, when you come to art, don't think that I cannot be an actor, or if I'm an actor, will it sustain me? Think of producing, like being an arts organizer, manager, producer, backstage person, light designer, sound designer, uh, editor, video editor, graphic designer, um, you know, so there, there's a whole camera to facilitate that. There's so much money in training. So these are very lucrative and amazing uh, careers because there's always excitement over here. They are not dull. So please look at them and uh, go ahead and choose them because the sky is the limit. Over to you, Vikram. Oh. If uh, no one has a question, then I have one actually, ma'am, if you don't mind. I don't have a question as of now because actually I have so many questions like inside theater, you talked about how do you use theater as therapy. That, of course, came in your presentations. But then because of time constraints, I think we'll have to cut it short. But I do hope, Raman, we will take forward to a series of workshops, you know? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it, of creating something together, which will really benefit the students. We'll work it out. We'll work and it out. Let's hear what Bikram has to say. Yeah. Um, we may have some time constraints, but uh, still, I think I'll ask this. So because because this is um, something organized by uh, what is called what we call as a gender champions. So um, I had this thing, actually. Um, so in this in this time, so so we all are going through certain kind of uh, troubling, I, I say troubling periods. And uh, especially how uh, do you think, because uh, there was something you mentioned towards the end, actually, I remember that we can be a refugee in our own homes. Yes. So which actually uh, made me wonder, so how does this actually, how do people who, have, who actually do feel refugee in their homes, mostly uh, people who, who may have a, may have a gender identity which is not, which, which may not be accepted yeah. or which is considered a taboo in our societies. So how do you think they'll negotiate or navigate throughout uh, through all these, through the means of art? Very important question, Vikram, and I'm glad that you asked it. Um, our Youth Connect uh, network of the Creative Arts Academy, in fact, is celebrating Pride Month right now. And I'm so fortunate that they feel that TCA is a safe space. They're calling it a safe space uh, where they can talk about these things. And a lot of youngsters of age 16 and 17 are coming out and sharing their uh, gender preferences or sex preferences. And uh, this whole month, we are talking about that. And I'm glad you talked about it. So if you show, saw in Beyond Borders also, you know, we talked about a transgender who was wrapped in plastic and who had just had surgery. I would only say whether it's a gender issue or an issue where you feel your parents do not agree or your partner, your spouse does not agree if they are uh, apart from sexual preferences or even sexual preferences kind of issue that you may have. Your partner could be doing something that you may not like, but you want something else. I would say very important 
communicate don't be scared of being rejected being dejected you will you will feel rejected or you may face um you know opposition but don't be scared of it come out so on a very small level my friends would say oh you are allowed to do this you are allowed to go for rehearsals you are allowed we started in co education because i'm from chandigarh and all schools are co education over there um so you are allowed to have boys who are friends uh, but we are not allowed so i would ask them have you tried talking to your parents yes i did once or twice i said no you have to do 1 million times just like parents talk to children 1 million times children must keep on talking to their parents till they understand at least keep the trial on and even in a relationship don't give up easily until the things are really bad there's no i mean there's violence or there's emotional abuse or sexual or uh, physical but um or there are serious uh, issues of values not matching um but apart from that try with each other don't give up so soon try and communicate um not just once not just twice but 1 million times so i would say bikram that without any fear we must go ahead and communicate yes we will face rejection just like we face rejection at so many places but we must learn to face it and still continue to share what we believe in yeah thank you ma'am uh because of the time constraint we'll have to wrap it up now right um uh, so thank you again uh, it was quite amazing and over to you gangotri so take uh, it forward now thank you vikram sir i now will just say one more line while winding up that life may have its dark times but there is always sun next day and there's always a ray of sunshine love life love yourself most importantly every part of you and uh, live life to the fullest every moment over to you gangotri thank you ma'am you are really very inspiring okay So now I request the coordinator of GCC, Shadabdi Hazorika, to deliver her vote of thanks. Over to you, Shadabdi. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes, Shadabdi, you are. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I deem it a great honor to propose the vote of thanks to. all who have helped us in making this webinar such a resounding success right off the bat we are very grateful to our honorable principal sir for giving us the opportunity to organize this event i am very grateful to him for his enthusiastic support and encouragement now i would like to propose hearty vote of thanks to our honorable resource person ramanjit kaur madam for gracing today's webinar thank you so much madam for your thought provoking address we are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence i must say that an event like this cannot happen overnight the whole started rolling weeks ago and we have been fortunate enough to be assisted by our honorable vice principal madam who is also the presiding officer of internal complaints committee dr hantana khoika madam i would like to extend my special thanks to hantana khoika madam and i also wish to express sincere gratitude to all the members of internal complaints i would like to acknowledge my gratitude to the coordinator of iqsc dr rofiq ahmed sir for helping us in every step i would like to express my profound gratitude to all the participants and audience who have joined overwhelmingly what's wrong pankaj i think she is having ma'am am i audible oh. Yes, you are. Would, yes, you are now. I would like to express my profound gratitude to all the participants and audience 
who has joined overwhelmingly and making this event a technology plays a very crucial role in organizing this and online class and we have respected teachers dr pongos bora sir dr onu actually left no on in also i would like to extend to dr porinita borka for dr ashwini ma'am and all people Shatabdi, you really got to do something about that network of yours. Yes. I am thankful to our champions, Onabda, Bedanta Da, and Purismita Ba, and a big thank you to Coastal Borada for making the beautiful flowers. Finally. I once again thank you all for participating and making this even a great success. I hope you all had a nice thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Shadabdi Ba. Now, regarding the review competition, I would like to say a few things. Students pursuing their graduation and those who are doing their masters can join the review competition. You can send your reviews both in English and Assamese. Your word. Should not exceed more than 500, and you have to submit your review by 28th June, and three best reviews will be awarded. Also, regarding the feedback form, you all are requested to submit the feedback form within one hour, as the link will be closed. Lastly, I want to thank all of you for your patience and being with us here today. Your presence has made this webinar successful. Thank you, everyone. With this, I conclude this webinar. Have a good night. Uh, one word. Thank you, Abanti. Thank you for joining us and helping us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shanta. Shantana, and thanks everyone. Thank you. Take care and stay safe and stay happy. Yes, ma'am. You too. Take care. Thank you. Loving you, Shanta. Take care, you too. Thank you, ma'am. It was a nice I'm session. Good. Yeah, Pankaj, you were saying something. It was a nice session. We really learned a lot. I know it was a very different session, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It was very different. One thick session. Unique, ma'am. Unique in its own way. Yeah, we came to know many new things uh, about the creativity. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, this so the young brigade of teachers. We are going to take this forward, right, with the workshops. Yes, ma'am. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Thank you. Love Thank you so much, ma'am. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Loving you, Rana. Loving you. Lovely day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raman. Thank you for coming on their platform. In a students platform. Thank it's you. It's been my pleasure entirely. Thoroughly enjoyed. And what a lovely audience. So many. This is wonderful. Thank you for organizing it. Take care. Good night. 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 Bye, Bye, Team Vicky. Thank you for being with us. Yes, thank you. Logging out. Bye.